Gajik SC Bridge. Students, in this video, we will derive the bridge balance condition for a Gajik SC Bridge. This is the circuit diagram for a Gajik SC Bridge. These A, B, C, and D are the four nodes of the bridge, and A, B, A, D, C, B, and C, D are the four arms of the bridge. These Z1, Z2, Z3, and Z4 are the impedances of respective arms. I1, I2, I3, and I4 are the currents through these impedances Z1, Z2, Z3, and Z4 respectively. This D be the detector. It is generally a pair of headphones or null detector, and this is an AC source of about. One kilohertz frequency. Detector D and AC source are connected at opposite nodes. When bridge is balanced, current through detector becomes zero. That is, I D equal to zero, and potential difference between point B and D becomes zero. That is, V B D equal to zero. Now suppose bridge is balanced. It means I D equal to zero, and therefore this circuit is open. Therefore I one equal to I three and I two equal to I four, and V B D equal to zero means potential of point B and D is same, and therefore potential across Z one equal to potential across Z two. If we say that potential across Z one equal to E one. And potential across Z2 equal to E2, then E1 equal to E2, and therefore I1 Z1 equal to I2 Z2. Equation one. Now potential between point A and C be the E due to this AC source, and I D equal to zero. Therefore we can write E equal to I1 Z1 plus I1 Z3, and E equal to I2 Z2. Plus I two Z four. That is, this is equal to I one into Z one plus Z three, and this is equal to I two into Z two plus Z four. Hence, we can write I one equal to E upon Z one plus Z three, and I two equal to E upon Z two plus Z four. Substituting these values in this equation one. We get E upon Z1 plus Z3 into Z1 equal to E upon Z2 plus Z4 into Z2. This E and E cancel from both sides, and therefore Z1 upon Z1 plus Z3 equal to Z2 upon Z2 plus Z4. Now simplifying it means multiplying this term with this one, and this term with this one. Hence, we have Z1 into Z2 plus Z4 equal to Z2 into Z1 plus Z3. Expanding the brackets, we get Z1 Z2 plus Z1 Z4 equal to Z2 Z1 plus Z2 Z3. These two terms will be removed from both the sides, and therefore Z1 Z4 equal to Z2 Z3. This equation is the general balance condition of the bridge. We found from the figure that Z1 and Z4 are the impedances of the opposite arms, and Z2 and Z3 are also the impedances of opposite arms. Hence, we say that the product of the impedances of the opposite arms should be same when bridge is in balanced condition. Now assume that all these Zs are complex impedances and are comprised of in general resistances, inductances, and capacitances. Thus, writing each Z in the form of Z equal to modulus Z into angle theta, we have equation T like modulus Z1 angle theta1 into modulus Z4 angle theta4. Equal to modulus Z2 angle theta2 into modulus Z3 angle theta3. In complex number multiplications, magnitudes are multiplied and the phase angles are added. And therefore, we can write 
modulus z1 into modulus z4 into bracket angle theta 1 plus angle theta 4 equal to modulus z2 into modulus z3 into bracket angle theta 2 plus angle theta 3. Separating the magnitude part and phase part, we get modulus z1 into modulus z4 equal to modulus z2 into modulus z3 and angle theta 1 plus angle theta 4 equal to angle theta 2 plus angle theta 3. This is known as magnitude balance condition and this is known as phase balance condition. That's all. In next video, we will learn about phase difference in reactive elements.